Hello lovelies, in this video we're going to be looking at my predictions for Edexcel Physics Paper 2. Please remember that I am not an examiner, I have not seen these two papers, I do not 100% know what is going to come up, so please remember to go and revise absolutely everything. Um, but if you're looking for a starter list, if you're looking, if you're a bit lost and don't know what to focus on, then this is the list that I have come up for you. If you want some questions based around these topics and you want to see me walk through how to answer these questions, how to approach the maths and physics because it's not scary, then um, all of those are ready and waiting for you over on my channel in this playlist here. I'm going to start with combined science and then if you want to jump to separate science you can use the timestamps to do that. So physics, combined science, we have to remember that for physics 30% of your grade is going to be based around maths questions and while you get the equations, you do not get the units. So please spend some time going through your units and for paper two, your circuit symbols as well. These are incredibly important. It's gonna be really easy for you to do these on flashcards, but it's something we definitely know is going to come up somewhere on the paper. Um, so please spend some time on it. Um, electricity is a big, big topic on this paper. So this is definitely one I'd like you to spend time looking at. So use of electricity, electricity in the home, how it gets to the home, um, your circuits, your circuit symbols, differences between parallel um, and series circuits and how you can build those, interpret those, and then the practicals to go with those. So looking at resistance, um, looking at problems in a circuit, um, and how we can measure, take uh, readings from that, and all the calculations that are associated with those. Another thing I'd like you to look at is magnets, magnetic fields, and then lovely Fleming's left hand rule, because um, this is something that is, you know, slightly nasty, but is the sort of thing that could come up if they really wanted to test you. And personally, I love seeing students in the exam literally trying to get in to the exam paper, and that is really what I want you to do if this sort of question comes up. I'd like you to look at energy stores and transfers. Now in the specification, it does list a few examples that it expects you to be familiar with. So it is definitely well worth making sure you have those examples properly written out as sample questions so that you can go into an exam um, and give those answers if you need. But then we need to be able to apply it to new situations as well. And then there's loads and loads of maths that's involved in energy stores, in energy transfers. Being really familiar with your current potential different graphs, so you need to know like a lamp, you need to know um, a diode and a resistor. And then understanding why those graphs are that shape um, based on the properties of the components. So one of the practicals I'd like you to look at, as well as obviously your electricity practicals, is a practical based around the spring. So Hooke's law, looking at the extension of the spring, because there are loads of calculations involved in this. There's loads of practical skills involved in this. It's an excellent opportunity to, for the examiners to get you to draw a graph. So it's really, really worth spending time looking at that practical. Looking at contact and non-contact forces, so the diagrams, the, the situations where this could um, happen, the changes that will happen, then looking at Newton's laws as well. And then looking at the particle model. So do you really understand the difference between liquid and a gas and things that could affect it? So. That is my short list of things I'd like you to look at for physics paper two, but please remember to revise absolutely everything. So if you're doing separate science physics paper two, then this is my starter list for you. Now for physics, we know that 30% of your grade is going to be based around maths. So please spend some time learning those units. I will link my video, I can't remember which side it turns up, but I will link my video there where I go through everything for you. Um, we like, there are very few things we can say we 100% know are going to turn up, but units is one of those. The other thing that I would like you to spend some time looking at is remembering your circuit symbols because these are really, really easy for you to learn. Um, just get them on flashcards, use my flashcards. 
um, but it's definitely, definitely worth learning these because electricity circuits is a big part of this paper. So electricity uses in the home, how it gets to the home, how we can keep ourselves safe, um, so safety features, but then also the circuits, parallel, series circuits, what components we can put into circuit and how we can use the, the numbers from those in calculations as well as looking at static electricity. So I'd like you to look at magnets, magnetic fields, and then Fleming's left-hand rule as well. Um, that is a great exam question. I love to see students, I really want to see you, if it comes up, actually trying to get your hand into the paper to work out which direction things are going in. And remember you can use words like into the paper and out of the paper to explain where things are going. So looking at contact and non-contact forces, so Newton's laws, um, diagrams, situations, and things implying it situations like gears and levers as well. Um, this is quite a large topic, so if you're not familiar with um, how all of Newton's laws work, um, you don't feel comfortable maybe drawing a diagram, a body diagram about this, then please spend some time looking at those. So I want you to be confident with drawing um, current potential different graphs for the components that you need to, so like a lamp, a diode, and a resistor, and then explaining based on the properties of those components, like a diode, why the graph is that shape. I'd like you to look at the spring practical. This is quite a big um, practical, it's a really nice one for asking questions about because there's maths in there, they can graph in there, we can have a really nice um, interpretation of like how you do the practical. There are so many things involved in this. We can link it through to energy. Um, this links through into so many different things. And then I'd like you to look at your, your circuits practical, so resistance as well. Well, and then the last two things I'd like you to look at, so I'd like you to look at moments, and then I'd like you to look at the particle model, gases and pressures. Um, so there you go guys, that is my starter list for things um, for um, physics paper 2. Please remember to revise absolutely everything though, and don't forget, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.